Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching. Um, my name is Chrissy. For those of you who don't know, I am a 23-year-old male to female transgender YouTuber. I'm a dancer, I'm a songwriter, I'm a student, I'm all of the above mixed into a gorgeous tasting rainbow. I don't know why I just said that. Um, so today I am doing a highly requested video, which is what's in my bag. Um, it wasn't super highly requested. Um, I did have a couple people in previous videos ask me to do something like this. So I thought I would. So this is my purse. Um, I bring this to work. I bring this to school. I bring this everywhere I go. I'm not one of those girls. It's just like, oh, let me grab my wallet. Sometimes I do, but usually I'm like, oh, girl, give me my bag. All right. So first things first, I guess. It's one of the biggest things. So this is my dry shampoo. Um, so I don't wash my hair a lot, to be honest. Like I probably do it like, I don't even want to say how much I do it. But anyway, I get, I don't really get like greasy hair. I, my hair's really dry. I get greasy hair after like four days of not washing my hair. And I don't go four days. I'm just saying like I have before and that's when I got greasy hair. So this is just a lifesaver for me when I wake up and I feel like my hair's like, eh, um, a little, little bit oily. I just, actually, you know what? I'm going to do something right now. I feel like it just makes your hair look, feel so much better. And it smells so good. This is Beach Babe, not your mother's good brand. All right, next up is my hairbrush. Obviously, you know what this is for. It's brushing hair. Nothing too crazy. Um, I do, I wear extensions, so sometimes I need to brush them out before I leave work after I've worn a ponytail or something. So, and sometimes if I, my hair's da like natural, I'll, I'll brush it, but usually it's just up because I'm just like too lazy. Um, these are my, this is my sunglass case without my sunglasses in it. That's amazing. God knows where those are. This is, oh God. I don't know why I have a charger block in here, but we're just gonna ignore that. Um, these are my melatonin gummies, and it's. I know you're gonna be like, why do you have these in your purse? Well, I tend sometimes to sleep out a lot. Like I'll sleep at either my friends or I'll sleep at somebody's house that I'm talking to or seeing, and so it's kind of. I'm kind of just like, oh, you know what? Well, I have I have some sleeping issues. I've had sleeping problems since I was a child, so my mother says. Um, so I like to have this on hand. It really helps me sleep. Um, I had an episode last week, two weeks ago, where I, I didn't sleep till 5 a.m. Nothing worked. I took, I know it's really bad, but I took like, a, like 25 grams of melatonin and three Benadryl and I couldn't fall asleep. I don't know what it, what was wrong. It was awful. So now I'm on like a sleeping medication because that was just like ridiculous. The next thing I have is a wine key. <laughs> so no, I'm not an alcoholic, but this is my, so I use this for work because I'm a waitress. So whenever somebody orders a bottle of wine, it's so nerve wracking. You literally have to like present the wine, do a fucking twist, yank it up, pour the older women first, then the younger women, then the older men, then the younger men. It's a pain in the ass, honestly. It's really pain in the ass. All right, so next we have my gorgeous Victoria's Secret. Mm, pink spray. It smells so good. It's called um, Aloha from Paradise. It smell. I wish you guys could smell it. <laughs> it smells so good. Um, I don't. I just want to make a message. I don't really support Victoria's Secret. I know, like, having this perfume, which I bought a while ago, is supporting Victoria's Secret. But they did. I believe they retracted their statement about the trans women. Still, I think it's completely unacceptable, and they fired that CEO, which is good. I'm not. I don't endorse Victoria's Secret at all. I actually threw out some bodysuits that I had. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's not great to have. So I feel kind of guilty actually having it. But um, yeah, I'm sorry. That's awkward. Um, okay. No, but seriously, like, they retracted their statement and they fired that woman. So it's almost like they are embarrassed that that woman tarnished their name, which they did. And now they have a trans model. So I, it's it's like people are going to be like, why are you supporting them? Why are you supporting them? Why is a trans woman walking in her in their shut their shoot? It's almost like a big fuck you to them because it's like, okay, like I'm tra trans woman, so I won't support it. But this is she's like, I can do this and I can walk. So she proved that bitch wrong. And I think that that's the best revenge. So next I have coconut oil, which is, you can literally use this for anything. 
You can use it for cooking. You can use it, I used to use it as, because I had really dry skin. I used to use it sometimes as a primer and a moisturizer. I use it for my hair, like with my dead ends. I use it for my extensions. I use it for body, like I used to use it as a lotion. It was it made my body so um, ugh, smooth. And you can use it as lube too. And I like use this as lube and I, I'm, I'm like, maybe I should, like I don't use it anymore. I just have it in my bag. Like I think I'm gonna get another one because like, I don't like, you know, the genitalia touch this and then that. So I'm kind of like, Ugh. but, oh my God, it's thundering. Yeah. Oh, and these are like my favorite things that are in my bag. Please wait, please wait, please wait. I have a lot of stuff in here. Hoops. I am obsessed with hoops. Like I've been obsessed with hoops since I was a little girl little boy trying on um my mom's earrings and stuff and because she had hoops and they're just so well she didn't really have hoops but I've seen I just used to you know admire hoops when I was a child I love big hoops like they're like mm, they're like my favorite thing I think they're just I think they almost make my head look smaller maybe that's why I, like them. I don't know <laughs> all right next I have I'm sorry, it's just like, I'm trying to find everything. Oh, my wallet. Funny story, actually not funny, really traumatic, and I'm very upset about it. I found, I lost my wallet uh, when I went to a vacation last weekend. I went to Maine, and I also lost my keys. So it was absolutely horrendous. Um, the ride up was six hours, because we have to kept, keep turning around and going back and turning around and going back. So I had to switch wallets. I guess we can do a what's in my wallet. I just have cash. <laughs> There's literally nothing else in there. Um, so yeah. And last but not least, this might not be the most entertaining. Um, what's in my bag? Sorry, ADHD. But this is my favorite pair of sunglasses. Um, I've had these for a while. I like the top, how it's like no barrier. I think it's really cute. So this sweater, it's like actually getting cool in Massachusetts for once because it's like becoming fall. And the sweater is super comfortable, but it's almost like a little itchy. It's like giving me allergies and I'm, I can't wait to take it off. Oh, and also I have this um, ointment. It's for a rash that I had on my neck. <laughs> so long story short, I was, I don't know what I did, but I was shaving my whole body and I think... I don't know if this triggered it or not, probably not. And then I started getting really itchy everywhere I shaved. So mind you, I shaved like everywhere. So all of a sudden, um, right here and, and everywhere else I shaved was puffing up rash, redness, literally horrendous, like itchy as hell. And I didn't know what's like, it was just so bad. So I actually, I don't think it was from shaving. It might've been from, there's a syndrome called Steven Johnson syndrome. And it's when you, it's, um, a certain medication when you don't take it, when you forget to take it for a couple of days and I forgot to take mine. Um, and it's really bad. She said it can kill you. And I don't know if that's the she, the psychiatrist. I don't know if that's like what I had, but it was purple from here to here, nonstop itching. Like I had to put this ointment on all the time. And like I, I shaved like her down there and like she was so itchy. Like I didn't know what to do. So I just bought a shit ton of cortisone. It was like the worst thing in my life. I couldn't sleep. Like it was freaking horrendous. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that is my little story about my ointment. So now I think that might be it for what's in my bag, guys. I don't think that there's anything like that much more entertaining. I mean, I do have this little unicorn thing on my bag that I think is really cute. Um, so yes, that is it for my what's in my bag. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little video and I'll be doing some more really serious videos soon, kind of like regarding my transition and everything like that. And I really want to do one on gender roles soon and how I was treated differently, male versus female. I think that would be really interesting. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please come back soon and please subscribe.